फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आचार्य नाइन्टी एफ एम योर ओन रेडियो माई सेल्फ आर्जे तेजस्वी टूडे इन आर बिजनेस मंत्र सेगमेंट वी हैव इन्वाइटेड निर्मला जयसवाल मैम निर्मला मैम वेलकम टू आचार्य नाइन्टी एफ एम योर ओन रेडियो थैंक यू वेरी मच शी हैज हर बैकग्राउंड इन सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग एंड प्रेजेंटली शी इज वर्किंग इन श्रीराम स्किल्स सेंटर एज अ मार्केटिंग हेड सो वी विल बी नोइंग वॉट आर द डिफरेंट आस्पेक्ट ऑफ आई टी सेक्टर सो वील गो डीपली इन टू आई टी डिपार्टमेंट सो मैम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क यू वॉट मेड यू टू कम टू द आई टी फील्ड सो वेन वी वर्क वी आर इन कॉलेज एंड वी आर वी आर डूइंग आई वॉज डूइंग डिप्लोमा इन सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम आर्थिक इंस्टीट्यूट दैट टाइम इट वॉज वेरी फेमस एवरीबडी वॉन्टेड टू आई टी वॉज जस्ट बूम लाइक एनी थिंग एंड एवरीबडी वॉन्टेड टू गो फॉर दी आई टी प्रोग्रामिंग सॉफ्टवेयर डिजाइनिंग सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोग्रामिंग सो दिस इज द प्रोग्राम वेर दिस इज द एरिया वेर एवरीबडी वॉन्टेड टू वर्क सो आई ऑल्सो चूज इज अ करियर I I work for many company mm-hmm. and then I took it in this level. Mm-hmm. After after our tenth and twelfth and after graduation, we decide to become a, we choose a stream whether we have to go for engineering, we want to go for medical. Mm-hmm. So have you thought before you will be pursuing engineering field? Um, so uh, from being in a very uh, uh, monocular medium mm-hmm. and a very normal family. Uh, getting into computer is really uh, something very unusual for me. Yeah. yeah, definitely, it's very challenging and unusual because we never knew none none of your family member mm-hmm. aware about the computer. But yeah, um, I started lo- when I come to eleven standard, ten standard. We have a computer as a subject mm-hmm. and this newly introduced into the school also. Mm-hmm. So it's really fascinating to me to. Uh, work in the sector i have found many people my, some of my friends also they had mm-hmm. a computer at their place mm-hmm. so i also decided to make my career in the similar field mm-hmm. that's great and uh, what uh, how was your educational uh, field how so, from where you learned when, when you pursued your it uh, so i i was first i enrolled myself for, for the basic programming uh, from a small institute and mm-hmm. then i thought let a career so i enrolled myself in aptech as a uh, diploma in software engineer mm-hmm. with with my sc- college itself mm-hmm. and i sum- completed two and half year program in that Mm, that sounds great, but even we used to we had a MSc IT when we were in college. We had that course of MSc IT, but that was really very basic. Mm. Now, uh, what would be the streams? What do you learn actually in software engineering? That I would like to know. So, uh, so yeah, uh, software engineering basically a core field where you can work in as a programmer. Mm-hmm. So, uh, we uh, we used to work C C C programming C C plus plus Java was there in our uh, mm-hmm. introduce database uh, even Oracle was there. Mm-hmm. So these are the basic field we used to work and that that is that time when I learned mm-hmm. this is the only programming languages MySQL is going in the field mm-hmm. for database and Oracle basically. So you have to go for the database for Oracle. You have to go for the uh, examination of Oracle, and finally you end up with the getting good uh, job in any of the IT industry. Mm-hmm. I would like to know more about it. So could you brief us on what is C plus plus, what is Java, and what are the other um, yeah. faculties here? Yeah. Uh, so uh, if you want to work, if if you aspire to work in an IT industry mm-hmm. and you want to start as a career as a programmer, mm-hmm. so C and C plus plus is the basic language, or mm-hmm. you can a mother of a language where mm-hmm. you can start. So normally, wherever you go, any IT any IT field, it's 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 a CS IT or anything, you have to start with the C program. It's a basic mm-hmm. program. If you know C and C plus properly. Mm-hmm. so that helps you to go work in any of the programming language like mm-hmm. java c sharp dot net mm-hmm. these are the programming field available in the market mm-hmm. and if your basic is good you know how to logic is good good and you know how to interpret it definitely you can work any of the programming languages so mm-hmm. that's not a big deal once you have a core uh, basic knowledge basic is strong mm-hmm. so you can work that is why whenever whenever you go for the programming or Uh, you want to work in IT sector, so uh, people normally ask you, you know, the basic thing like you know, you know C or you know C C plus plus. So that helps you to get in the better other languages like mm. Java, Co Java, Advanced Java. Now we have uh, we had other programming languages also which is coming across. Mm. So you can work in that also. Mm-hmm. 
uh, uh, what would be the different subjects related to software engineering? So different subjects when you all together talk mm -hmm. about. See, IT, uh, IT definitely have a different subject, a different area talking about. Mm -hmm. So uh, now uh, if you talk about many people want to work in different sector, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So programming itself have a different uh, different uh, area to work. Mm -hmm. And that also we have a uh, front end designing, back end designing. Then mm -hmm. we have a uh, operations and that mm -hmm. so uh, debugging is different field mm -hmm. so um, we have a different sector to work in a programming sector mm -hmm. now if we can talk, talk about the programming so we have a different side of like uh, some people want to work in a cyber security some mm -hmm. people want to work in a data science some now um, uh, ml you know that, yeah. right uh, artificial intelligence mm -hmm. these are the full stack programmer are different so there are different sector all together mm -hmm. uh, divided itself so whoever want to work pursue their career into separate field they have decided mm -hmm. they can choose and go accordingly yeah on this note only we'll take a short break and would like to know about more uh, aspects of our it sector from you so we'll uh, join after a short break keep listening ajari 90 fm your own radio today in business mantra segment we are listening to uh, the different experiences of nirmala jaiswal ma'am thank you After the short break, you are listening to Acharya 90 FM, your own radio, and today we are having in our business mentor segment, uh, Nirmala Jaiswal from Sri Ram Skills uh, Center. Ma'am, we talked about what is software engineering, how you uh, got interest into software engineering. Usually, we see most of the uh, gents are into this uh, male faculty is there into IT sector, but being in ladies, what do you find? What were the challenges of, while pursuing this as a career? Uh, so challenges in the sense there was I'm not find any challenges in mm -hmm. that because the if you take about engineering from earlier huh. also mm -hmm. very uh, we had lots of girl working in the seminar field mm -hmm. and they are working in a m most uh, good position yeah also. but the ratio is ten is to two yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> most yeah. of the time because yeah. uh, that time we have a lots of challenges available because deadline also if you talk about programming mm -hmm. in th that case you have to deal with the deadlines you have to do multiple project mm -hmm. night shift roles there mm -hmm. so you need to be a commit committed in this field huh. so that is the reason majority of time we have seen lack, lack, lack of uh, girls who are working in this mm -hmm. position but yeah um, since I was working I am not fine uh, I find many girls, you know, mm -hmm. they are working in this uh, this field. Okay. So engineering or IT field, uh, BSc, mm -hmm. BSc, uh, IT, yeah. BC, BSc, IT, BCA, MCA mm -hmm. girls, they are already getting good opportunity mm -hmm. and working. Yeah. So uh, definitely there is challenges compared to boys uh, because boys were paid more than the girls. Always yeah. is happening <laughs> in <laughs> the industry. Uh, and then uh, ladies, they always consider like they have a lot of responsibility and mm -hmm. all. So they are not given that kind of stuff, which is uh, the position which is given to the boys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's always there. Mm -hmm. So you can say, ki, yeah, um, there were little less opportunity for this girl. But uh, but uh, if you talk about MNCs and good company, I have not find little very differences in that. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Uh, Ma'am, you have been working in various MNC companies. How was your experience working with MNCs, like corporates? Um, it was great. Mm -hmm. uh, I left very early. I just joined and left because of some reason for the. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it was great while working with the good companies also. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have not find any challenges, but yeah, there there are uh, that those time I'm talking mm -hmm. about uh, where where in. When we were joined in 2001, 2000, mm -hmm. two, ten years three, back, yeah, yeah, ten years back. So that time it was a boom in IT industry, lots mm -hmm. of work available, and uh, people were definitely working and get it into this programming field, and they are working. Mm -hmm. And due to uh, lot lots of uh, requirement, there was pressure also to work in that industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you take about ten years back, mm -hmm. definitely the challenges were different. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. Now, not like today is what we have everything available. Earlier it was not like that. We have to work re really hard in to work hmm. uh, into the field when there was given to you. So definitely there were challenges in that hmm. time. Now we have achieved the position of marketing head. The most of the responsibility is always there on the marketing department. So in Sriram Skills Center, how you work as a marketing head? How you uh, uh, handle all the circumstances? Um, see, my career was like diversified in different field. I was okay. not only a programming, I was in teaching, I was in marketing, I was in operations. Okay. So, um, being into this field last 12, 20 years, almost mm. finished, and I, I have handled each and every depart department. Mm. So, it's now, now I'm handling uh, specifically for the marketing, wherein I can, in every aspects of marketing, mm. I'm doing it. So that's give me, there's nothing, something very unusual I'm doing, but yeah, mm -hmm. I have uh, now having a, one position and handling entire pan India for this operation is really great mm -hmm. uh, because working in a certain smaller thing and now working in a, in a pan India is definitely, it's, it's a great thing. I'm doing it now and uh, I'm taking it on a very highly level. Mm -hmm. Uh, in our college also, NG Acharya and DK Marathi College, we have a separate IT department. So many of the students get passed out. So do, uh, I would like to ask what are the placement opportunities at uh, Sri Ram Skill Center or uh, any uh, any placements you all uh, provide? Yes. So uh, Sri Ram, basically let's understand what, huh. is, what is Sri Ram Skill Center, what yeah. we do in that and yeah. then we can have, we talk about the placements. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Shagam Skill Se Center is basically, we uh, we deal with the, we are into paramedical sector mm -hmm. and as well as IT also. We have okay. a separate department for IT and paramedical. Paramedical in the sense, mm -hmm. uh, we are basically into nursing, mm -hmm. nursing, DMLT, mm -hmm. uh, dialysis, technicians, oh, operation theater. These are the specific, we have a one field mm -hmm. where we are dealing, training candidate, mm -hmm. uh, we are affiliated with Maharashtra government. GNM program and uh, people get placed into the various hospitals as mm -hmm. per the requirement. Mm -hmm. Similarly, we have a, another uh, department which is IT. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a sister consult company is called Candela Infotech, mm -hmm. wherein uh, we deal with uh, lots of programming. Mm -hmm. uh, we are uh, we are into fintech company, wherein mm -hmm. we design mm -hmm. a software for banking, insurance, mm -hmm. and bank insurance, and many other corporates mm -hmm. company. So. Uh, we have a lots of uh, programmers who work for us and uh, we have a lots of projects also to work. Hmm. Now there is, is a, uh, I have found that there is a consistent requirement of new talent, new uh, mm -hmm. and manpower in mm -hmm. for our companies. Yeah. Right? Right. So that is the reason now we are into training. So mm -hmm. we want candidate to work in a different aspects like mm -hmm. each and every programming uh, mm -hmm. language and they can uh, they can able to employable in in different field. Mm -hmm. So basically, if you talk about, uh, we are looking out uh, student for the full stack development, mm -hmm. uh, database development, AI, and cyber security. Mm -hmm. These are the uh, so we are because we are getting project on this related to this segment. Mm -hmm. And if you uh, talk about the future, also AI one of the best best thing is which is going to mm -hmm. be in the market after ten years. Mm -hmm. um, similarly. If you talk about um, data database, it's not going to end. It's it's going to be always there because yeah. we are handling lots of data. Mm. Apart from that, if we talk about, uh, we are into full stack development, mm. which is again is going to be a backbone of the world industry, which mm. is going to be a there. So uh, it depend on on the students' uh, requirement or their. Uh, the flexibility of work mm. there uh, like, uh, mm -hmm. as they want to choose as a career yeah. they want to work into this these are the one of the best field mm. they can work mm. and uh, as we as i told you we are into training so mm. we have a, a training department wherein we all this program mm. full stack development cyber security database mm -hmm. and data science these are the things we have. We are training candidate. We have a enrolled faculties from the industry oriented. Mm -hmm. These are the blended modded program wherein uh, you can have a online uh, lectures also and offline if you wish to visit. You can come up to our center. There will be an offline lecture will be given to you. Mm -hmm. So all these programs will be uh, given to you online as well as offline for yeah. the students for the convenience. Mm -hmm. 
you are working for a, your sister's concern that is Candela Infotech also. Yes. So I would like to know what are the objective, what is the aim of Candela Infotech? What are you looking out? What are your plans for the coming years? And uh, how the you provide placement through and Candela Infotech? Yeah, great. So, um, see, when you started as a Candela Infotech, we had a vision to work into the society and develop. Uh, basically, we wanted to start a um, app development. We, mm -hmm. we started getting a lots of app development for the for the for different companies. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I started getting lots of work project for for our company, mm -hmm. we realized that we are uh, regularly looking out for the new challenges mm -hmm. of, uh, candidate. Basically, if you new talent in, in for to work our project, mm -hmm. so. We thought uh, we every time you have to seek, seek up uh, people, you have to mm. take an um, interview and then you have to work on them, you yeah. have to train them and it's really difficult, mm -hmm. right? At the same time, uh, you devote so much time for the candidate and mm. I don't know whether, whether they are going to go after six months, they are going to with you or not, yeah. right? <laughs> that is... Take, that is a really uh, more challenging than having people on board, mm. right? So once they are uh, experienced, they really look out for the different job and do you again back to the square. Mm. So uh, what, what we have thought uh, for dealing with this, what what we, we can do now? We start let's start our own you know training center mm -hmm. wherein we will have a pool lots of new generation, new talent each each and every mm. time. Mm. We'll train them. Will give the internship wherein both will be benefited. Mm. Uh, the candidate will be benefited to live project, hands on training on the project, mm. right? And they are able to find the industry oriented work, how basically corporate work and how it is deployed. Mm -hmm. And we will be benefited, our work will be done mm. on, on a regular basis and in the faster the way we want to mm. deal with the candidate, right? So the training, it's uh, it's not properly, we are not instituted as we are going to train, yeah, but they are. Mm -hmm. The training will be on professional level. Mm -hmm. uh, the trainer will be uh, from the industry mm -hmm. and the project will be industry oriented project. Mm -hmm. It's a live hands-on training will be provided for the candidate and that will going to help them for the career if they want to start a career in the industry. Mm -hmm. See, um, if you are given a hands-on training, that means you are ready for the industry. Mm -hmm. You can go and work any of the company wherever you want. Mm -hmm. So that is what motive behind that doing it. Uh, so that candidate can work anywhere and they, then they can take any good job. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, that will help to us also because we have a lots of project with us to work mm -hmm. and that will our work also satisfies in that. Definitely. Again, we'll have a short break and we'll join again. So friends, today in Business Mentor segment, we have uh, invited Nirmala Jaiswal, Madam from IT sector. Keep listening, Acharya 98 FM. We'll be back in a short while. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, welcome after the short break, you are listening to Acharya 90 FM, your own radio. And today in our business mantra segment, we have Nirmala Jaiswal, ma'am, uh, who is from IT sector and she is a marketing head for Shriram, uh, Shriram uh, Skill Center and also she is working with Candela Infotech. So ma'am, uh, since we have lot many students passing out from IT field, there is a lot of competition. And there is, after joining the offers, the corporate offers, there is a lot of stress. So, we are, do you have any programs for stress management, uh, in, I would like to ask? Um, first, uh, uh, stress management, definitely, we have lots of things going on in most mm -hmm. of the companies. If you mm -hmm. say any any company, you take it, they have a many yoga program, they, they, mm -hmm. they give uh, motivational speakers they call mm -hmm. they for uh, many different activity being done mm -hmm. to, to deal with the stress because these are the industry where you have to have a stress because there is a time limit uh, mm -hmm. for the for your deadline for the, your project and uh, apart from that you keep on getting new new updates every time you know mm -hmm. the software get changed you have to update it every time with the, with the software mm -hmm. right now if we talk about talk about chat GPT so mm -hmm. something new which has come up yeah so you have to always when you bring into IT sector or bring into this sector you have to up every time update it new things right mm -hmm. 
सो डेफिनेटली दिस इट्स अ चैलेंज एंड पीपल फील लाइक अभी हमने कुछ सीखा और वी आर वर्किंग डूइंग इट इमीडिएटली यू फाइंड समथिंग एल्स कमिंग इन द मार्केट एंड यू हैव टू हैव यू हैव टू हैव अ नॉलेज यू नो वाइल इन द ट्रेनिंग आल्सो द द सेम थिंग हैपन बिकॉज एज एज अ ट्रेनर आई हैव आई वर्क एज अ ट्रेनर आल्सो सो मेनी पीपल यू नो मेनी टाइम इट्स हैपन लाइक स्टूडेंट्स नो मोर देन अस एंड दे दे गूगल इट दे सर्च नाउ वडेज यू नो एवरीथिंग whatever you are training they have a 50% knowledge they are already having their own mm-hmm. so you have to be very smart to handle this you have to more intelligent them than them you know mm-hmm. to take a lecture so uh, definitely this field is uh, more challenging mm-hmm. more definitely it's giving a um, if you're talking about monetary it's, it's a great monetary mm-hmm. in, in this field but same way you have a challenges also and uh, you have to be committed in this field mm-hmm. okay so uh, over the years as we are uh, reaching 2040 so how you find where the it sector will be leading uh, so it sector one of the booming industry now mm-hmm. you can say you are uh, every day you chat gpt yeah. you is every invention is happening and ai is coming in the market so it's going to definitely going to a boom like anything in mm-hmm. the coming 10 years it's going to upgrade like anything mm-hmm. so there is no uh, way you can see in this world mm-hmm. so the you ha- who, whoever want to work for in this world definitely the future will be bright they have mm-hmm. to upgrade it in new technology okay uh, like ai and all which is data science which is going to a market definitely there is a uh, database um you have to have a different sector mm-hmm. and full stack so um cyber security is one of the best yeah. thing now in the market because everybody is handling yeah. computer this is called a bomb you know you, people are take mobile in their hand but if if you don't know what is it exactly mm. it's a, it's a bomb basically if you don't know about so everywhere you find everybody is cheated and all so mm-hmm. cyber security is something which is very very important what mm-hmm. we have also vision in coming 10 years this is one of the field that is going to be a lead in the market because mm-hmm. uh, more people everybody now only are using and some fraud is happening every every third person is dealing with some mm-hmm. online fraud is going to be so rectify that to solve that problem i believe every person should have a knowledge of the security hmm. and cyber security will be trained to all the candidate not hmm. only uh, ladies housewives the older generation new everybody should know about the cyber security at least the phone which is there and how to handle it how hmm. to what are the things the feature you should not on what are the things you should not upgrade so that everything need to be trained to them so cyber security is one of the thing which is going to be a very very uh, important in the mm-hmm. market so you there's a candidate who is wish to want to go for this field huh? yeah this is really important and they can go about it mm-hmm. definitely we had a lot of knowledge from you in this it sector but will we uh, like to know uh, to have some more few sessions uh, so i would like to invite you on this note only so do come to our studio and we will put more light on different subjects related to it field sure sure i love to do that thank you very much for you it me on radio 9 90 fm nice very much thank you ma'am for joining so friends today in our business mantra segment we had nirmala jaiswal ma'am who is a marketing head at shri ram skills uh, development uh, center so uh, hope we have you have enjoyed this our podcast and uh, we will join you soon after this interview till then keep listening acharya 90 fm for today i am taking your leave thank you